Hello and welcome to the second video in our series where we look at the top six reasons your VLOOKUP functions are not working. And in this video, we look at locking or fixing your table reference. So we've got this VLOOKUP in cell I3 at the moment, in D3, which if I double click so that we can see it in all its glory, is looking for the contents of H3, uh, which is ID 41. Within range B3 to F11, so that table on our left, and is looking to return column number 3, an exact match for it, uh, which is the quantity. And it seems to be working fine because it returns 79, so it finds 41, the key we return 79, it's quantity. But when I select the cell with that VLOOKUP in, and I copy it across to the right for the next two cells, for the price and value, they stop working. And if I double click to look at the one in J3, Juliet 3, I can see that it's looking for the contents of I3, which is quantity 79, and it's looking for that down column C, because of the range C3 to G11. So it's looking for the quantity down a column that contains fruit names. Hence what it is failing quite dramatically. Now I could correct that here. I could tell it to look in contents H3 and to look for that in cell B3 to, to F11 and that it should be returning column 4 because price is the fourth column of this table array. And that will work fine. Could be formatted as a currency there, but it's the right answer. 0.3, 30p. But the real problem here lies in the initial VLOOKUP. So I'm going to select them two VLOOKUPs and get rid of them. Return back to the original, and we're going to lock these references. So cell H3 here, I'm going to click within the reference to H3 and press the F4 function key, the F4 key on our keyboard to put two dollar signs in there to make that reference absolute. But what a lot of people refer to as a fixed reference. We can also just type them dollar signs in. I'm then going to do a similar thing to the other reference. I'm going to click amongst the reference to B3 hit F4 and then click amongst the reference for F11 and hit F4 and I'll get some dollar signs around all of them so that the whole references are absolute in nature. So for example the initial reference to H3 really was looking at the cell one to the left of where the formula is. Now it's H3. So it's just a different way of looking at a cell. Is it a cell to the left or H3. In this instance they're both the same thing, different ways of saying it. When we copy the formula to the right, different ball game. I3 is the cell to the left, H3 is H3. With the dollar signs, that's H3. <laughs> I don't know how much sense that made, but uh, hopefully lots. Uh, but more importantly, when I press enter and copy this function to the right for two cells, I now get the exact same answer, which is not good but I just need to change this column index number to 4 in that one and then double click on the value one and change it to 5. And yes these cells could do have been formatted I could have done that in advance that's not really part of the, the kind of problem really here and is easy to do but fixing your table reference especially is. That is problem number 2 the issue with the column number we're actually going to cover in our next video in the series where we look at the potential for somebody to insert columns in this reference and the problem that that would cause.